So it's our first semi-final this evening at the PSA World Tour Finals, and it is the Warrior Princess Nora El Shabini up against the Black Widow Nora El Tayeb. All top-class players, and she's really just been taking people apart. Barely broken a sweat. Oh, and oh, then and you then get she... the run of the ball as well. <laughs> she doesn't need that. Come on, Shabini. 7-1. <laughs> Into this first game, not expecting to, to win it, of course, but if she can get a couple of points on the board uh, behind the back, that would give her just that Down. impetus to go into the second game and, and produce something better. Yeah, I think at this, at this point, it's all about just trying to get a little bit of confidence from some, some good rallies where you feel like you've just got a little... Problem is, we talk about the, the talent of Tayeb, and she's not really been able to showcase it at all so far. Shabini has been so clever, so good at just negating those talents, those skills. I mean, that's the lunge, the flexibility that we talk about from Tayeb. Well, the cross court Shabini, just out of Shabini reach Shabini for Noral Tayeb. A little bit out of sorts in the first, like she wasn't um, settling into her game, perhaps slightly nervous. And just try to try to hit your targets and, and cut the errors down, of course, and get yourself comfortable. And then you, you might be able to work a couple of positions where you can use some variety and maybe a bit of delay. Just prior to the lockdown. Lost to Hamami in the final, I think. Yeah, an inspired Hamami that week. Oh, it's a great shot. It's a great shot from Tayeb. Just managing to keep her nose ahead in this second game. Well, that was something that you were alluding to there. Tight. She caught her on the back swing there. You prevent the swing from playing the ball. Video review Shabini on the stroke decision with Miss Tayeb. So stroke awarded, Shabini reviewing. No, I think this has to be a stroke because it's a loose ball from Shabini. Tayeb's all over it. And so stroke awarded, that gives Noral Tayeb that second game. game. Great response Tayeb, from the Black games. Widow. If you just take your foot off the gas ever so slightly, it can be really difficult to find that momentum again. Oh, that had to go in. There's the scream from the Warrior Princess. She, needed she that really point. needed that massively. <laughs> yeah, that was a big point for Shabini. 1 5. You know, as we were making our predictions before the match, um, the players were warming up backstage and they, they have a TV there so they can actually, they can actually hear us. <laughs> And of course, we were all writing off Tayeb, so I wonder if that's uh, spurred her on. Four love. So still seven match balls for Tayeb. And there it is. Oh, wow. 11-3, match to Tayeb. Can you believe it? 5-11, So much for our predictions. We do apologize, Norel Tayeb. <laughs> well, we, we know she can play like that. She's, uh, she's an incredible player. Wheels did come off a little bit, I have to say, for Shabini, but a, a wonderful performance from Tayo, fully deserved. So the Black Widow taking that match and with it a place in the final. Two games to one, 5-11, 11-6, 11-3 in 30 minutes. Well, here we go. It's our second women's semi-final. It is Haniel Hamami, the number five seed, up against the number eight seed, Joel King. That's good to see. Both players working incredibly hard to get round each other in those front corners. Yeah, it's good free-flowing stuff between these two. That's what we want to see. Five, four. Not too many stoppages. That's a brilliant and shot. Out. The serve, you have to say, was a bit lacking. Five, it was straight onto the strings of the Kiwi, but she dealt with it appropriately. Important rally here for King. She's on the end Great of it. Up. She's being worked all around the court here. Yeah.
she's having to use all, the, all her athleticism, isn't she, Eight King? Five. Fitness. Yeah, Hamami's got control of the middle area of the court. And then... Yes, lad. Ten all. Player Interesting, because I even heard yes, the contact, so it would be, be good to see this. It meant that King couldn't get a racket up, but she hit her, so... There, do you see? It's that, yeah. that initial movement stopped her from actually getting the racket up, so then she can't hit the ball, Prevented so that makes shot. it interesting to me. There. And it is. Stroke to King. Decision overruled. King. Oh, she didn't get it straight, King. Still in charge here, though. She is. Yeah, it's oh, nicely wow. done. <laughs> She missed a couple of times on the volley, but that was perfect, that backhand drive. She measured it to perfection. It was perfect weight here, second bounce in the nick. And out 16. Yeah. I'd much rather be in King's position, though, after a break like that with the game ball. Yeah. Well, here we go. That's oh, it. She's it. finished it. That is a huge, game huge, huge game. King leads one game to love. Not surprising that King has walked off absolutely roaring her head off. 30 minutes, 2018 to Joel King. She is leading in Haniel Hamami by one game to love. Great that, shot. Yeah. That is one of the best volley drops of the match, if not the best, I think. And it was. It was soft, but it and was positive. One. She really used the strings here. It's not an easy shot, especially when the lob gets thrown up. Hopefully it doesn't stay around for too long because it was there, uh, particularly on the first day. What a shot, what a shot. Good awareness from King. Everything was saying straight and drop. She all. knew El Hamami would be sprinting in towards it. Yeah, clever, clever wrong footer here. Great boast from King. Down. Oh, she's missed it. Oh, that eight. was risky, though. Game it was a risky Hamami. shot. She's a long way back. One game all. Leveled things up here, Hania El Hamami. 11 8 that second game. After 47 minutes, we're locked in. A one game all. Again, just so impressive for someone so young that she can not only play at this level, but deal with somebody like Joel King, who's got so much experience and, and the battle hardened, come back, take and the out. second and take such a big lead. And Two also seven. to... to <laughs> Unbelievable, really, that Hamami is still springing around the court. Look how confident she is. She could have just waited for a stroke there. Instead, decided to play the drop Nine shot in, two. win the point outright. That's what we like to see. Take it. Well, there it is. Finishes it off. 11, two. She had to battle Nine, so two. hard. A lot of credit has Eight, to go to Joel two, King. Two, Both these 11, players eight. putting on a great 11, spectacle two. here. Thoroughly enjoyable match between the two of them. What a performance. 57 minutes. Haniel Hamami taking it 2 1 against Joel King. Huge monster of the first game, 18 20, then 11 8, 11 2.